Hey guys, what's the knife fanatic here? Today I have a, a brand new prototype knife here. This is a Konosuke blade. Uh, these are about to go on the website. There's really no information out uh, for me yet. I don't know what type of blade steel this is. Uh, I tell you this is a rosewood ebony handle and that this is a hand hammered Guru Uchi finish. And it's a 240 millimeter knife and it weighs over 200 grams. I can tell you that much. Uh, it's got an excellent killer convex grind. Uh, I'm drooling over the grind on this knife. It is just really fat on the spine and then just gets so thin behind that edge like a like paper thin. Just uh, most of Konosuke's knives are very thin behind the edge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut with it, get a little performance. We'll get a proper review out of it later, but I can tell you this is gonna be a non-stick knife. <laughs> there you go. Well, just a little prep, guys. Here we go. And here's a good thing to uh, keep your knife skills up. Every morning, make some hash browns out of potatoes. Just taking. Uh, peel them a little bit. Bit of a chunk there. Try not to waste too much. Uh, between Mr. Tanaka and uh, Konosuke, I think those are uh, some of my favorite knives on the planet lately. And uh, well, let's not forget the new Richmond Laser. I've been getting a lot of really good knives lately, and uh, you know sometimes it's hard to uh, put contrast between them all, but. They all have their own little unique personality, little traits, grinds, differences. Uh, you can see this thing's so thin. I know potatoes are usually pretty easy to cut, but uh, I like this knife already. I don't even know its name. I don't even know your name and I love you already, baby. It was love at first sight. <laughs> Get all these off my board. Whoa, take it easy there, Pancho. Going a little crazy. <laughs> I used to play drums, by the way. Most of you guys wondering where I got all that rhythm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, we got a couple of rotted layers on the outside of that onion. Look at that. Hmm. Slimy. Eh. It smells okay. Just get rid of all the bad layers and work with what's good. That's odd. Hmm. No problem, it's going in chicken stock, so uh shouldn't be too big of a deal. We had onion juice sitting on there. I think we're gonna get a little patina soon. This is probably a carbon steel, I can imagine. So uh Well, I kind of uh, butchered that a little bit. Well, this knife just screams to be used uh, hard. You know, it's like a 
asks for some punishment. Usually, you know, pretty knives don't really want to be punished too much. Here's a pretty knife. That's a monster. I mean, this is a bruiser. Really, really. Who needs a food processor when you got one of these babies, huh? <laughs> Very nice. A lot of onion for chicken stock, I think, but... Eh, whatever. And last, we got a little celery to take care of. Yes, I wasted a touch. Sue me. Alright. You are the man. I would love to visit their factory someday. Sunday evening, really don't have a whole lot to do, but relax and have some fun at home. Effortless, it is effortless. Love it to death. Well, I hope I get to do a really good review later when I get some more information on exactly what this knife is, but until then, hey, Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.